Mr. Speaker, my colleague, in 1891, Puerto Ricans joined the Cuban Revolutionary Party, and in a meeting on a place called Chimney Hall, located on 26th Street and 6th Avenue, Puerto Ricans decided to join the Cuban Revolutionary Party. And they began to develop the strategy as to how best to liberate both Cuba and Puerto Rico. Part of the strategy was to work with the United States government, getting them to help them into liberating both Cuba and Puerto Rico. And on a day like today, the American Navy, under the command of Admiral Sampson, and the United States Army, under the command of Nelson W. Miles, invaded Puerto Rico. They began to attack Puerto Rico by land and by sea. On that Sunday, most Puerto Ricans were either at home sleeping or in church, and the Spanish soldiers were sleeping, obviously, in the fort in Old San Juan. We were invaded. We believe all along that the U.S. government were going to Puerto Rico and to Cuba to liberate us from the Spaniard. That was not to be the case. The United States had a different plan, a different agenda. And that was not to liberate us. That was to keep us as a colony and keep Cuba as a colony. Puerto Rico today is still a colony of the United States. We were made citizens back in 1917 so that we can be recruited to serve in the armed forces in every war in the United States. Many Puerto Ricans believe that they were doing the right thing. Many Puerto Ricans, like Anthony Suarez, a young man, Puerto Rican, who grew up in the Bronx, who became a captain in the United States Army from 1974 to 1988, always believed in fighting to preserve and to defend democracy. Today, today I believe, I dare say, that Anthony cannot understand why Puerto Rico is in a financial crisis. Anthony cannot understand why Puerto Rico, the status is still a colonial status. But there are others like Anthony who served the United States very well. There was also another young man Oscar Lopez Rivera. Oscar Lopez Rivera went and fought in the U.S. Army in Vietnam. Oscar Lopez Rivera, he served this country very well. He came back home and he began to hear a hero of all of us by the name of Muhammad Ali because Oscar lived in Chicago and Muhammad Ali with the, with the Muslim and Muhammad speak movement were based originally in Chicago. He heard Muhammad Ali say, I'm not going to fight in Vietnam. Those brown skinned people never did anything to me. It was others that hurt me and my people. At that point, Oscar Lopez Rivera began to say, wait a minute, I went to Vietnam I went to Vietnam. Now I'm going to dedicate myself to helping bring organization and program to my district to fight and end poverty and fight against the races that welcomed me to Chicago, not as a Vietnam hero, but as a Puerto Rican. So Oscar was determined to speak out for free Puerto Rico. So here you have Anthony Suarez hoping that Puerto Rico could be make a state of the United States. It didn't happen, it's not happening, and it will not happen. 
but the United States will not bring into the United States an island, a country that's main language is other than English. We speak Spanish. Mm -hmm. That's a proven fact. Oscar Lopez decided to fight for freedom of Puerto Rico. Oscar Lopez in jail. Not because he's a drug dealer selling drugs in the corners in our neighborhood. If, if drug dealers were to be treated in a similar manner as Oscar Lopez, you will have no, no drugs in our neighborhood. Oscar Lopez has been in jail for 34 years, accused under sedition charges. Now, what is sedition charges? Very interesting. Sedition charges is similar to what Jesus Christ was accused of, conspiring to overthrow the Roman government in the Middle East in those days. Well, that's sedition charges. Sedition charges was used in this country supposedly against those who fought for the South during the Civil War, meaning Robert E. Lee. It was never used against Robert E. Lee. Ever since it's only been used against those Puerto Ricans who dare to say, I want Puerto Rico to be free and a sovereign nation. What is sedition charges? An accusation that is just a conspiracy and an attempt to overthrow, in this case, the government of the United States. We're not interested in overthrowing the, United, the government of the United States. We're interested in reclaiming our country. The U.S. went into Puerto Rico under the false pretense that they were going to go there to help us become a free country in the Caribbean. Every country has been free in the Caribbean. There is no longer any colony in this planet, only one, Puerto Rico at the hands of the United States. Puerto Ricans have died by the thousands in every war. This country since 1917. And today, our government is bankrupt. It's in a crisis. We owe $73 billion. For the last 50 years, people like me, Puerto Ricans, have been told, listen, be careful, you could become another Cuba. Don't be like Cuba. Well, today, it seems like federal government is giving everything to Cuba, respect by releasing five of their political prisoners and opening up relationship, which we should, because there's no reason why we should be boycotting anybody. Mm -hmm. We make little people. So I'm happy what the federal government is doing to Cuba, but why? Why can't they do the same thing for us? We have served this country. We have been a democracy in the Caribbean. We have every right to expect not to be treated like third class citizen. If we're American citizens, why should our island be bankrupt? And worse, we owe $73 billion. The federal government just announced that they're not going to reimburse the Puerto Rican government any of their Medicaid programs. That is terrible. That is not right. So I am saying, if you're not going to give Anthony Suarez what he fought for, which is make Puerto Rico the 51st state, then Give Oscar Lopez Rivera what he has dedicated and sacrificed 34 years in jail. Never hurt anybody, never attack anybody, just spoke for freedom for our island and our people. You're not going to give Anthony Suarez, a former captain of the United States Army statehood, then you got to give us our freedom. Oscar Lopez Rivera has made it clear for all of us, give me freedom or give me death. Puerto Rico will be free. Oscar Lopez Rivera will be free. I have spoken. So you agree, my brother? 100%. <laughs>
Arriva Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico me encanta. <risa>